Playing their last ever game at Tiger Stadium. Ace down 3 2, top of the third, two out. Dave Malicki to Ben Grieve, and Ben Grieve to the right field roof. His sixth homer, 17 RBI in his last 21 games. We are tied at three. Now Detroit up 9 6, top of the fifth, Jason Giambi. Homer to right, and it hits the foul pole. One of two homers for Giambi, numbers 12 and 13 on the year. The replay confirms what we already suspected. This was a home run, although Giambi wasn't so sure of it for a while there. The body English tightens the gap to 9-8 Detroit. Eighth inning, two outs, tied at 10. Tony Clark off Doug Jones. A three-run homer, one of three hits for Clark. Detroit wins it in a wild one, 13-11. Dean Palmer also homered for the Tigers. 6 2 1 Red Sox. Yvonne Rodriguez facing Brian Rose. Grounder to second, Jose Offerman. Oops, off his glove. Royce Clayton scores from time to two. Bottom of the 6 4 2 Rangers. Troy O'Leary facing Rick Helling. O'Leary taking him deep. A two run homer, number 14 for him. O'Leary two for four. Drove in three. We are even at four. Bottom of the seventh now. Still tied at four. John Valentin against Helling. Jose Offerman heading to second. And Pudge Rodriguez throws the ball into center field. It's now Offerman to third. Air on Pudge. Valentin's still up there, and he makes the Rangers pay. The liner to right one. Gonzalez comes up throwing, but throwing off the mark. Offerman scores. Valentin nailed it second, but doesn't matter. His lone hit was the one the Red Sox needed. They win their third straight, 5-4 the final. Ninth straight game. The Rangers have scored four or fewer runs. They have been looking to match a season high with its sixth straight win. There's Nomo, bottom of the third. 3-1 Brewers. Space is loaded. There are your visual proof for J.T. Snow, and Nomo gets him looking to get out of the jam. Eight Ks for Nomo, still a 3-1 game. Brewers defense, bottom of the fourth, 4-1 Milwaukee. Rich Aurelia was two for three, robbed by Jeff Jenkins. Nice diving catch. More great defense, this time from the Giants. In the seventh, Ron Belliard, robbed by Armando Rios, but the Brewers come out ahead in this one, eight to one the final. They improved to 21 and 17 on the road. Nomo gave up just five hits in seven innings. He improves now to 5-0 and lifetime at San Francisco. The loss does end the Giants' five-game winning streak. Reds and Diamondbacks kicking off a three-game series. Bottom of the seventh. D-backs down 4-1. Matt Williams with two on, and Williams says they're not on anymore. He doesn't literally say it, but he says it with his actions. His 20th homer ties the game at four. Top of the tenth now is Vladimir Nunez on the hill to Ed Taubin see with a runner on, and... Tobinsey, the two-run homer, is seventh of the year, three for four in the ball game. That makes it six-four Reds, and they go on to win it by the final of seven to four, fifteen and four now in their last nineteen road games. Sean Casey was two for five, his NL leading average up to three seventy-eight. The Diamondbacks did not come through in the clutch in this one, just two for fourteen. Mark was looking for his third homer in as many days, and in the third inning, he got it. In fact, he got all of it. Above and beyond Big Mac land. What do you get for that? Like a fry? <laughs> Maybe a shake? How about nothing? Next, to, next in the same inning, Schwan Dunstan robbed by Derek Bell. That's worthy of another look. Bell, he's okay. We say that because not only does he look good on the replay, but he's okay enough to bat in the top of the sixth in a 5-3 ball game. And Bell takes Kent Bottenfield right back at him. Nice reflex. Throws on to first for the out. Two batters later, Carl Everts on first. And if you don't believe me, there he is. But Bottenfield picks him off. Great game overall for Bottenfield. One earned run on four hits in seven innings to win for the third time in four starts and notches 11th on the season overall. That ties him for the NL lead with Jose Lima, who goes leader day to day with a bruised left hand. Jamie Moyer, winner of seven in a row, the off-speed pitch on the outside corner. He struck out Jim Tomey three times. Top of the eighth, 2-1 Tribe. Edgar Martinez, flair to right. David Justice can't get it. Martinez is only hit, scores Brian Hunter and Junior. It's 3-2 Seattle. Bottom of the eighth, same score. Tribe with the bases loaded. Jose Paniagua walks Enrique Wilson to tie the game. And Pinella, bum. Next batter, Jacob Cruz. A roller to third. Russ Davis coming on. Great play. Bare hands and oh, gets nice. the out to end the inning. Bottom of the ninth now. Alex Ramirez with the bases loaded. Paniagua blowing the high heat past him. He struck out three but walked four. We had to extra innings. Bottom of the twelfth. Tribe. Bases loaded. Jose Mesa. Oh, yeah. 
of Dan Wilson's glove brings home Tommy with the game winner as the Indians pull out their ninth win in 10 games. 4-3 the final was the Tribe's 27th come from behind. Toronto, bottom of the third. Jays up 4-2. Tony Fernandez, how hot is he? Deep and gone. Fifth home run of the year. He had two hits on this night. We'll compute his average in a moment. Top of the six, Royals down 5-4. Runners on the corners when Johnny Damon hits what I like to call a laser to center. Jose Cruz Jr. robs him. Damon and the Royals bum, and they lose 11-4. Jays have won 7 of 8. Sean Green hit two home runs, but... Guillermo Mota pitching to Brett Boone flies out to Vladimir Guerrero and you just don't run on Vladimir Guerrero especially when it's a shallow fly to right so there's one out and the base is still loaded now Steve Klein in to pitch to Ozzie Guillen Nazi swinging two outs now Anthony Telford in Alou working that bullpen and the bullpen working for Alou Brian Hunter grounds to second for the force and the Expos maintain the 2 1 lead and that would be your final score and Greg Maddox took the loss to drop to six and five even though he gave up one earned in seven innings he has a 2.80 ER in his last six starts a span over which he's received only 21 runs of support and the Braves will be missing a key run supporter for a bit. Javi Lopez will go on the DL Wednesday with a knee. He sprained Sunday the same night he had two homers off Randy Johnson. The Marlins in Shea, bottom of the seventh, tied a two-runner at third for Ray Ordonez. Boy, is he on fire. Singles in Ray Roger Sedeno, and the Mets go up 3-2. So the only thing left unresolved is the matter of Mike Piazza's hit streak, and that was resolved. Deep into the Queens evening, that might have hit the Grand Central. My goodness, 16th of the year off Vic Darensburg. He now has a 24-game hitting streak, tying Hubie Brooks' team record. Mets it's Billy Taylor in a dicey situation. Gonzalez to left center. Tony Phillips on the run. Tony Phillips makes a catch. And on the base pass, Rusty Greer passes Pudge. That's a no-no and is a double play. Phillips with the great grab. And Oakland goes on a win by the score of 5-3. to three. John Wetland leads the majors with 23 saves, but Oakland scores three in the ninth for the win. Just wet on third. Butch Husky with two outs. Lines one to right, but Matt Luke is there to rob him and save the day for the Angels, who go on to win 4 2, thanks to an insurance home run by Matt Luke. DeSarcino one for two before being replaced by a pinch hitter. Marrero. Craig Biggio's got it at second, flips to Gutierrez. That's a double play. Craig Biggio all smiles. Why? Well, he had to fight his screen from the ump, Jerry Davis. And his main job and he was to able to get make the play well, anyway. Bottom 14, three all, two on for Big Mac. McGuire, three homers in his last three games. A single here. Joe McEwing's a winning run. In comes McEwing, and the Cards win it by the final score of four to three in 14 innings. McGuire, one for five with two walks. Dating back to last August, the Cards have now won nine of their last 11 extra inning games. Gutierrez, four of the Stroh's 11 hits, but the Cards now six and a half games. That's all, just six and a half games behind Houston. Houston manager Larry Durker expected to be released from the hospital on Wednesday, eight days after undergoing brain surgery. Doctors expect Durker to return to managing sometime in July. Cubs in the Rocks, Sammy Sosa. Hey guys, put it He's got his own cereal. Dante Bichette, and Bichette dumps one. Two-run shot, Vinny Castillo home run, Mark Grace a home run. It was 3-1 at this point. That's Grace's 10th on the year. Terry Shumpert, Sammy Sosa, his 24th that now leads the league. Jeff Blauser, do you get the picture? 9-4 rocks at this point. Jose Hernandez, three-run home run, a 10-7 game at this point. Larry Walker, his 18th, it's 12-7. Henry Rodriguez, three-run shot. Top eight tied at 12. Man on second for Rodriguez. Singles to right. Run comes in to score. Get in there, Mark. Mark Grace is safe, and the Cubs win 13 to 12. No score. Travis Lee grounds up the middle. Larkin ranging and throwing him out. Top of the six, tied at four. Pokey Reese ripped Ed Vosberg to right center. And it's just short of the pool. And, that's not and Reese hustling around the bases, going for third. Here's the play. Here's the throw. He hits and away. Into the dugout. Reese going all the way around. He's awarded home. Reds go up 5-4 and win 8-7. Pokey Reese 5-4-6 on the night. Three runs in RBI. Arizona loses three straight at home for the first time this season. And the Reds, Road Warriors, in NL Best 21-10 on the road.
Tuesday. Top of the second, no score, two outs. Ruben Rivera. Got it. His 11th homer of the year in Chano Park says, Am I bleeding? Because I just got tagged for the 17th time this season. Top of the fifth, Jim Laritz, who was on base for that Rivera home run, is now at the plate and is hurting. Hit by the Chano Park pitch, taken to the hospital for x rays, and it was revealed he has a broken metacarpal bone in his out again, missing his second straight game because of the injured finger. Bottom three, runner on. Sean Green, the kosher kid can do some things. His third home run in the last two games, 18th on the year. He went two for three in the game. He's hitting 321, 2 0 Toronto. Top five, Indians down by one. Runners on the corners. Richie Sexton with a chance here, but a big butt. Grounds into the 6 4 3 double play. Sexton 0 for three in the game. And Toronto wins it 4 to 3. Just Cleveland's third loss in its last 13. A possible big boost for the Jays mentally. Toronto just 1 and 12 against contenders New York and Boston. As for Fernandez, went 0 for 2 with two walks. He's now hitting 4 11. His 11 game hit streak is over. The second great start in a row for Kelvin Escobar, who gives up two runs in seven innings. Red Sox and the O's. Bottom two, it's Cal Ripken facing Pat Rat with two on. Ripken went one for three in the game. Darren Lewis, Troy O'Leary. What do you have? What do you have? I got it. You got it. No one's got it. Harold Baines comes around to score. It's a double for Ripken, and it's one nothing in favor of Baltimore. Top seven. Troy O'Leary with a game tied at one. Looky here. Looky here. His 15th on the year. O'Leary one for four in the game. Socks up 2-1. Bottom eight. O's down 3-2. John Wazen is 7-0 coming out of the Sox bullpen this year. Albert Bell. Third homer in his last four games, a three-run shot, his 14th on the year, and the O's win it 5-3. to three. The O in Orioles no longer stands for zero. Baltimore has won 11 of 12. B.J. Surhoff went 0 for 3. His career-high 21-game hit streak is up. El Duque, what, do you, what was that? Whoa. <laughs> Joe Torre doesn't know what that was. Canseco can laugh. He did go 0 for 4. El Duque to Roger Clemens. You know, I was just, it just, it just, didn't, it just, it just didn't go properly mm. but the game did go well for the Yanks 7-0 the final New York now a game in front of Boston and the